I just finished my go out into the world day. It's when I get dressed up <laughs> and I go out into the world. I don't just go out in the world all the time. I live in Zuna, which means going into the world, which means traveling 30 minutes to where you got to go, which for me is a Walmart, <laughs> which is funny. But actually, it was to get these teeth fixed up because uh, that there is cutting into the bone on my incisor or whatever that is, canine teeth, or that's up there. doesn't matter. And um, that's a problem. So I got them clean, and they look good. And I hit on all the nurses. 52 to 60, you know, it worked out pretty good. They're still married. Can't blame a man for trying. And so uh, the, the dental people, um, Michelle and Monica, they're really cool. So I'm there, I'm all like, oh, this happened. And I was like, you know, what do I do about it? And they're like, ah, oh, sucks to be you, basically. And I'm like, oh, some teeth are different, you know. And But they gave me compliments, and they showed me their dogs. Not their puppies, sweater puppies or anything, because that's kind of gross. But um, they, they were nice, and um, I found out Las Minas de Atiguin is not not translated that way. It's something like Las Mina Loiterguin, or it sounds like loiter. Las Mina Loiterguin. Any which way. Uh, uh, Google Translate, you know. Uh, Monica told me this story about um, uh, being in America, watching coming to America. And then going back to Germany and watching Coming to America in German. And I was like, I don't think there could be anything not funny about that. Like, I want to track down a German copy of Coming to America and find out if Eddie Murphy is funny in German. Because Monica was like, nah. <laughs> nah, it just didn't make any sense. It was like... <laughs> so uh, now i got to, I got to go look on, online for that now because I'm, I'm happy. See the smile? It means I'm happy. Anyway, I get back in the car, and oh, Monica was uh, nice, and then um, uh, Michelle was nice, too. She was like, Ricky, you're really smart. You were going to college, and what did you get your degree in? I was like, well, I kind of stopped short of that because of pyramid schemes <laughs> and money, and I can't make things work because I don't make the money in order to make things work. And then we started talking about Bohemian, or like Bahamas, or... Bohemian Grove or something, and IMF, and I don't know, a lot of people that are old know a lot of stuff, but they don't talk a lot. Enter me. I'm old enough to know better, but dumb enough to not know better, I guess. I don't know how this is work. I've, I've struggled with, uh, like, the ability to be smart or the ability to perceive someone else as smart. Or the ability, look, I'm smart. I came to this new conclusion that everybody around me is not as smart as I am. Because, like many people said before, Ricky, you are a Ferrari and your family is a bunch of Toyotas. Toyotas are safe and dependable and get you where you want to go. But you're a Ferrari. You will never be a Toyota. One analogy. Another analogy is I'm super smart because these other people told me I'm super smart. My mom's comeback is, well, they don't live with you 24-7. I'm like, well, wonderful, but I live with the person telling me this for 24-7, and I don't think you're as smart as you claim to be either. And uh, that right there is where we derive the problem from. If everybody in your immediate household is smart and knows everything, you know, then they ain't telling nobody nothing. <laughs> it's just gonna be how it is. That's, that's where I'm at at the moment. Like it, it's a year uh, since I, I lost every fucking thing. Everything. Like I lost my job. <laughs> I'm on probation. I lost my license. <laughs> I'm in credit card debt. I'm in every kind of every. I'm in all kinds of shambles now. At one point, I had a job and was doing man. Eh, you know, getting stuck in the groove of having a job and it's sucking. I'm used to that. But, woo, what a difference a year can make already. Heck, December 15th will be uh, Terry's birthday. You know my friend Terry? Terry Davis, the guy I like. Anyway, a lot of things have changed since I just burst onto the stupid internet and told everybody 
suck it. However, a lot of things are, are the same around my household, you know, uh, with the exception of uh, who writes this stuff but Mr. God. Mr. God loves soap operas. Mr. God loves the uh, prison. Mr. God loves the mental hospitals. That's what Terry told me. He said he wants to see people doing action and having fun and living life to the fullest because you're only guaranteed that one day. He doesn't want suburban dull people going, mm, Frazier says that um, I pressed the button and he doesn't understand. Fuck you, Frazier. You don't understand shit. When you're low IQ, phrase your ass and talking to a motherfucking genius like Terry Davis, you shut the fuck up and you listen. It's a problem with you smart people. You don't fucking listen to people you perceive as not as intelligent. But it's you doing the perceiving. Perceive this. Sit and spin. This goes out to everybody I hate, which is a lot of people. So, I'm going to put this on the screen a little bit longer so y'all can see it. And that's for those people that missed it the first time. Now, eh, this is going to be a rant. This is a vlog of my motherfucking day. You don't like it? Go to somebody else's vlog. I don't care. This is about me. Now, how do I change my situation without just flipping over the chessboard saying that I won? Well, I don't know. Hey, this is a hard chess game here. If I keep doing the same things, Thinking something gonna change, ain't ain't gonna happen. That's just, maybe if I do the same things that I thought was right in the past that were right and had positive influences instead of negative Nancy influences saying, well, it's not random numbers. If your brain thinks it, then you brain uh, fuck yourself, Fraser. So now all the vile people in my life are gonna be called Fraser, and they're gonna get the Terry Davis treatment. And that is how it's going to go. Now, how do I build a, a pyramid of economic stability for myself? God, no, let God worry about that. Uh, I'm just trying to live day to day with the surroundings that I find myself in. Which this room, you know, tell George Peterson this shit ain't clean yet. You know, I don't think it's ever going to get clean. I ain't never been very cleanly. Um, but Ricky, if you changed your ways and you did it totally, it would annoy me. Like, if I take out two days to clean this room totally and dress like this all the time and gave you uh, intellectual pointers on how to be a cooler person and stop being such a dick all your life, then maybe somebody would, ex nobody would, nobody would listen. Sometimes people like being called assholes. I mean, my family don't. <laughs> the doctors and the lawyers and everybody... People don't like it when you call them assholes, but you got to think of being creative about it. I am not very creative. I sit and spin. Very basic. It works. Now, I, I, I can't be angry all the time. Not that it's not possible. I'm pretty sure it's humanly possible. I've met these people. My mom might be one of them. They're angry all the time. I don't know why. Some people say mean people are just mean. I don't know. I try to get along with everybody until I realize that, like, that, that, that's just not got. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm a Ferrari or whatever, and other people are Toyotas. Now, how do how does my Ferrari get turned into a Toyota? How do I get a blue pill Toyota out of a red pill Ferrari? I don't know. I ate the Jesus pill, and so far, like Jesus has been telling me what to do. He said, "Hey, you're doing good. Screw it." And I'm like, are you sure, Jesus? And he's like, yeah, man. I'm like, all right, I'll listen to you. And um, so that's what I do. So I'm going to take it up with God. And I'll let you know in further updates what I've decided to do. Because if I decide it, it's going to be wrong. 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm wrong all the time. And I'm still hoping for that 0.01% where I can be right. Like, clear and concise. There's no debate about it. I am right. And you are wrong. But until then, hey, Frazier, sit and spin, because everybody's going to be called Frazier, <laughs> and I'm going to go with the one theory that I've been pondering for a long time. I'm right. Everybody but me is the problem. Fuck everybody. That's not me.
I'll never be able to do that. That's that, that's like a, 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 a some people I know they can do that type of stuff. They're like, yeah, I can do it. My ear just uh, anyway, they can do that. I I have a problem. I, I, compassion or something, empathy or sympathy or some stupid shit. I got that. Whatever that is, is what I've got to get out. Now, if that makes me different from everybody else, and is what Michelle says that they like about me, then how can I stop being compassionate and still? I can't make this work. You know, leave a comment if you figured out how to. Uh, I guess uh, um, hide your power level or hide your autism. I knew this autistic thing. I even told Michelle about. It. I was like, hey, I found out I was autistic. I was like, yeah. She was like, who told you that? I was like, the internet. And she's like, Psh. so either I, like the internet lied to me and I'm not autistic. If I'm not, please tell me. So I can figure out how I can make this autism work for me and not against everybody else. I am not trying to go full-blown autistic on everybody I see. However, judging by my past experiences, I will do that. And or post nudes on the internet, which I'm not happy about. I'm ecstatic about it because I did it. <laughs> if you got some unlicensed nudes of me, let me know about it. I'll make a banner and I'll say, hey... This guy gets it over here. The guy that wanted the uh, Venus pick for me. Uh, I don't know why you wanted that, but you got it, and it's yours. You can have it. <laughs> do it. Do whatever you want. Uh, pretend it's your six-inch member. Whatever. Who cares? Like, I don't care. <laughs> but I'm trying to learn how to care. Because when I learn, oh, that's a problem. That's a problem for me. That's a problem for you. That's a problem for my 39 subscribers, which I'm glad I, I have. Thank you very much for liking and um, not liking my videos and leaving comments, not leaving comments. Um, nobody told me to sit and spin yet on my own comment section. However, they do be dropping hints about other people on my comment sections that I don't care about. I don't care what you think about my subscribers. They ain't none of my business. Once they're your subscribers... I'm going to go out with, uh, what's that person called? Um, oh, Apocalypse the Destroyer or some shit. That's like the dumbest name I've ever seen in my life. Like, ever. Like, and I'm called the Radness. At least I know it's dumb. I ain't going to go out of my way to be stupid. Hey, look. I'm Pac-Man the Terrible. Urgh, Pac-Man the Terrible. Your friends suck. I hate all your friends. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Look. Go ahead. Go somewhere else with that shit. <laughs> And don't leave a comment on my Kadama video about how much you dislike one of my subscribers when neither one of y'all play Kadama. That's just gossiping and bickering. And like, I don't get the fuck out with that shit. <laughs> I got enough problems dealing with my autism and, and Christmas coming up and trying to remain as sane as I can to, to not be whoever this uh, apocalypse destroyer person is. Like, I ain't on your channel talking shit about who you like. I ain't talking shit about anybody, except for people I talk shit on. Which ain't you, because, you know, except for right then, which was kind of you, but, yeah. Oh, um, joke's on you all day, whoever that is. Uh, whatever. And, um, yo. Um, like, I, I don't understand a lot of things. And I, I like to end it on that, but there's a reason. I don't understand. I, there's a reason I don't understand a lot of things. It's not because everything doesn't make any sense. It's because most things don't have a logical conclusion. Um, yeah, I can thank the government for that. I can thank these rigged textbooks called propaganda and indoctrination for that. Hell, I can thank my middle finger for being useful right now. Thank you, middle finger. I got your back, Ricky. Fuck y'all, Frasers. Y'all a bunch of Frasers. Get on my level. Uh -huh. Okay. And with that... Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to go take this shirt off. Oh, y'all want to see me take this shirt off? Oh, hold up. I know, I know. You ready for it? Oh, I ain't ready for it. Check it out. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Business in front and um, exits in back. Hold on. No, no, the business is front. Exit. You know what I meant? Party in the back and fucking business in front? No, no. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let, me, let me work on that. Hold on. Huh. Party in the front and the business in the back. No, 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 that's not it. Oh, when all else fails, use Wesley Willis. Cut the mullet! Cut the fucking mullet! It looks like a mud flap on your head! 
party in front, business in back. No, business in front, party in back. Something like that. Cut your fucking mullet, Fraser. Go cut your mother, Fraser. <laughs> and believe in Jesus. 